but the site of a fire last month has announced repair plans. The CEO of American Zinc Recycling says the place where the fire started will be redesigned to prevent any other problems. No injuries were reported at the Mooresboro plant, but in a Facebook post, the Columbus Fire Department says seven of its personnel who worked that fire will have blood work done, and their health will be monitored continuously because of exposure to highly toxic chemicals from that fire. Those chemicals also damaged seven sets of gear, like ladder trucks, at a cost of just over $17,000. In the past few years, the state has lost several first responders to suicide. Georgia Reed Godfrey has a look at money recently approved by Governor Henry McMaster to help first responders deal with behavioral health issues stemming from what they've seen. The money recently approved by Governor Henry McMaster will fund programs and PTSD insurance policies to help first responders in the state recover from some of the darkest hours on the job. Post-traumatic stress disorder is no longer a term reserved for war veterans or men and women in the armed forces. We have learned that more first responders die by their own hand than they do line of duty. But first responders across the country are also suffering from PTSD. We have a lot of high-speed wrecks, uh, shootings, we had shooting, stabbings. Exposure to death on a daily basis takes its toll on those responding to the scene. Especially if it's a very tragic um, accident or um, cases of abuse when children are killed. So organizations like the South Carolina State Firefighters Association help departments walk through those tragedies. We set a time to come in and spend some time with them. Not that we can come in and fix it, but just that we can come in alongside them and let them know that what they're experiencing is a normal reaction. The firefighters assistance and support team is able to provide peer support to departments in need thanks to funding approved by the governor each year. The money also helps financially for those first responders who need additional help. If we wanted to maximize those out-of-pocket expenses, we uh, did purchase an insurance policy that can do that. But for those on the job constantly responding to a bad call, it's about more than the funding. It's about making it through those darkest hours to be able to respond again. My crew was first on scene to a fatality involving two infants and an adult. So it, when decompressing, you're talking, talking to people who know you. So. Um, you know, they come out, they talk to you, and they talk to one another. People have been there and, and understand it. The money would benefit more than 44,000 first responders, which includes law enforcement, EMS, dispatchers, and firefighters. In Columbia, George R. Godfrey, 7 News. Originally, this proviso was passed in 2005, but only included firefighters. Since 2016, the money has included all first responders.